Hi, I'm Emma from the Angular team. I'm excited to share everything new in Angular Material and the CDK in version 15. Let's dive in. Let's start with the most exciting update. MDC is here. No, not the Message Distribution Center, Miami-Dade College, or Mitochondria Defense Center. MDC stands for Material Design Components. And like the mitochondria, MDC is the powerhouse of our new components. The MDC refactor allowed our team to rebuild Angular Material components on top of a set of core primitives and reusable code, owned all by the Material Design core team. These components align to the latest specifications and will enable us to adopt Material 3 once we finalize the style tokens. MDC also includes a wide range of accessibility improvements, including better contrast ratio, increased touch target sizes, and refined ARIA semantics. For the most part, the TypeScript APIs and component directive selectors are identical to ensure you can upgrade smoothly. And we've tested these on thousands of Google projects in the wild to ensure we can provide you migration schematics. To update, we have provided the following steps. First, update to Angular Material v15. As part of this update, a schematic will run to automatically move your application to use the legacy imports containing the old component implementations. This provides a quick path to v15 with minimal changes. Next, run the migration tool. After updating to v15, you can run the migration tool to switch from the legacy components to the new MDC-based ones. This command updates your TypeScript, styles, and templates to the new implementations, updating as much as it can automatically. Depending on the size and complexity of your application, you may want to migrate a single component or a small group of components at a time, rather than all components at once. You may also want to migrate your app one module at a time instead of all together. You can use both the old implementation and new implementation in the same application, as long as they aren't used in the same ng module. The script will prompt you for the directory and components you want to migrate. After migrating with the script, check for to-dos left by the migration tool. In situations where the migration tool is not able to automatically update your code, it will attempt to add comments for you to follow up manually. These to-do comments follow a common format so they can be easily identified. To search for all comments left by the migration tool, search for to-do MDC migration in your IDE. Finally, verify your application. After running the migration and addressing the to-dos, verify that everything is working correctly. Run your tests and confirm that they pass. It's possible that your tests depended on internal DOM or async timing details of the old component implementations and may need to be updated. If you find you need to update some tests, consider using component harnesses to make the tests more robust. Component harnesses future-proof tests for future DOM changes and help ensure upgrading to future versions of our library is seamless for your team and ours. Run your application and verify that new components look right. Due to changes in internal DOM and CSS of the components, you may need to tweak some of your application styles. You can find a link to the detailed migration guide and complete list of changes in the V15 blog and description box below. MDC is built to take advantage of modern web features like design tokens and CSS variables, which allow us to more smoothly and quickly update to the latest in material web styling. I'm excited for what MDC unlocks for the future. And while the team was busy delivering MDC, and those smooth migrations, that's not the only update in v15. We also resolved the fourth most upvoted issue, range selection support in the slider. To get a range input, use mat slider start thumb and mat slider end thumb in your slider inputs. Additionally, all components now have an API to customize density, which resolved another popular GitHub issue. 
You can now specify the default density across all of your components just by customizing your theme. Okay, that's a lot of love for Angular Material components, but what about the CDK? The CDK also saw some exciting changes. The component dev kit offers a set of behavior primitives for building UI components. In V15, we introduced another primitive that you can customize for your use cases, the CDK list box. The Angular CDK list box module provides directives to help create custom list box interactions based on the WAI ARIA list box pattern. By using Angular CDK list box, you get all the expected behaviors for an accessible experience, including BIDI layout support, keyboard interaction, and focus management. All directives apply their associated ARIA roles to their host element. Wow, V15 is definitely a powerhouse for Angular Material and the CDK. Thank you for watching. Now go NG Update.